sometimes you have a shaft like this one for example and a bearing and you want to put them together the easiest way is of course to use a press but I don't have one so I always have to hammer things together which I don't really like to do now before I had this drill press I had a smaller one a really low quality crappy little thing but the motor was good so here it is the table of this drill press now I use it here on my belt sander and this is what's left of this little drill press stopped in my basement for several years without any use but maybe I can use these parts to make a little hand press you see this kind of uh, harbor press if I use this piece of pipe and this square ugly thing weld them together fix this on the base I can mount that over here that could work so I think I will start with clean up this part and make it fit in here and then weld the pipe in place let's build something when I started to take the rest of on the belt sander I saw that this thing is not at all square not that it's uh, important but maybe I'm gonna clean it up a bit in the shape well that's maybe a little bit too much uh, work stick out so the vice you can go on comes the angle plate that will be better of course it doesn't matter to clean it up but I think it will look better if, uh, if it looks better uh -huh. it doesn't work Jaw saw bowling out, bowling out here. Okay, change of plans. The problem is, of course, this uh, hole is oval. It's not uh, nice round. Well, I think that will do. Because I'm working really close to the chuck here, I installed my carriage stop and I feed out instead of feeding in. Much safer.
with a bit of hammering it will fit perfect quite an adventure to clean this face up but look now this is more or less the idea that the head comes up here and I would like to have it slight fit yeah? this pipe here is the original stand that's a nice fit in here this one is 46 millimeters this one is a bit more so again late work i made this thing that i can put in here so i have center support and, and a tailstock support in the late but it's a bit a snug fit to be good i should need a press to push it in Something like this, for example. Uh -huh. Ooh. There's a pin here in this uh, opening to prevent it to go further. Knock it out first. Huh. That was easy. to cut this little piece out. It would have been a better idea to drill these holes before welding this part together. Because now I have a problem. Maybe you don't really need a shaper to hold your parts in place for drilling. But if you have one, why not use it? Something like this, for example. Now, to hold the thing in place, here and here are threaded holes. And maybe, oops, maybe I can use this one and with this make a beautiful little knob and then drill holes here in the shaft. So I gotta turn it around. I can set the height I want and then put the bolt in the hole here in this uh, column. That could be an idea. I didn't tap all the way through, so normally this uh, 
little bolt here will bind at the bottom on this side the thread is a bit too much messed up I think this is better yep that's gonna work With this nut I can make some kind of bushing and press here in yeah? and then cut a piece of this thread rod so if it's in here I can move it in and out that's maybe an idea Yep, something like this for example. Okay. Let's give this thing a try. I made a little shaft, 6mm, 8mm. 6 mm bush, 8 mm hole in a block of uh, something. Now, this for this little press is already a big hole, but let's try anyway. I also received stickers this week from Greg from the YouTube channel My Little Mew. Now, Greg, as you can see, your sticker is already. On the cheap door, so everything okay. Now, Greg in his workshop he restored a sound bend late, I think, and now he's gonna start restoring a milling machine. And this guy really knows what he's doing, he makes really nice videos. So, please go and check him out on YouTube. Of course, as always, there's a link in the description and now let's uh, press whole thing is moving You can see the old table flexing over here. Maybe if I bolt it down to my workbench. Yes, that works. Eight millimeter. Ah, I don't know what's moving here. You can 
see here the whole base is bending. I need to make a better base for this thing. I think I found something. I have this 20 mm steel plate. If I bolt this thing on here, I just have the right length here. So maybe that could work. Now the easiest way would be to weld it here all around and it will never move again. But if the thing doesn't work, I would like to be able to take it apart. So bolts it will be. Right, let's give it a try again. Oh yeah, that's good. I made here a little completely useless pin thing. Let's see if that works. Ah, that's hard work. So this is clearly a hammer fit. While I fitted this uh, column here on the new base, I wanted this bolt here in the front to be more rigid. Of course it was the other way around. So I had to drill these holes again to fit this pin. That's a bit stupid but it happens. The thing seems to work plus it was fun to build so I think it's a double win. Of course this is a very light duty press. You can press the big things all very tight fitted. That's not possible. It's just a little toy.